All right. Let's go. So this is Mesmer's third team video in a relatively like short amount of time. Like the first one was Mesmerizing. That came out at the end of November in 2021. Then there was RV There Yet. That came out in July 2022. They should do a collection of RV ones with pun names. Like call one of them like Sons of Vanity. <laughs> and now this one, Mesmer NYC Volume 1. December 2022. Before we dive into it, let's have a look what other people are saying. This is the sickest posse cut. NYC is crazy nice. Love it. I absolutely love it. I will love it if we beat them. Love it. Fully on this train. Yeah, mate. Get on board the old Big Billy Express line. <laughs> All the rest of the boys like chucking the coal into the engine to keep this steam train going. Mate, they are full beans. <laughs> Oh, love heart emoji as well. Too sick, mate. Too sick. Like, cut it out. If a video makes me involuntarily raise my arms. <laughs> Whoa, we didn't see that one coming. What was if you were leaning forward? You just like uppercut yourself. Mate, you want to watch out for that. Don't be watching it in public if that's actually what's happening to you. Like, hey, be slapping people up. You get, you get done for that. Seriously. Anyway, involuntarily raise my arms and say yo multiple times. Yeah, crank that soldier boy, mate. That's a sign of a good video. Flame emoji. Yeah, that is a good, that is a good sign. Oh, there goes the arms again. It's off. <laughs> the arms are off, mate. Involuntarily. Uh, the Bellino line with the five uh, wall ride at the end. Like their party people are like Woo emoji and gold medal emoji. Gold medal winning stuff. Like, let's give the thing a goosey gander. Uh, that hat is so good. All the boys, good crew. Obviously, I'm wearing the headphones because if I play the tunes, you just get copyright stroke. <laughs> Sick intro, Gabriel. Oh, that's what I'm tapping in, Jimmy. Imagine that wrestling tag team. Dennis. Oh, lovely. Very stylish. Look at Dom's barnet, man. It's like a, a mum from the Midlands in the 80s. <laughs> How has he got the energy to be doing uh, more stuff after his own edit? Anyway. So fast. Wow. Air out of that as well. Really nice jeans. Ooh. That's a really good example of like, you know, what would be maybe considered an illegal move. Uh, but then when done with like conviction and style and obviously done to like Dom's skill level, uh, really, really high skill level. It looks good, isn't it? It's like we have regulations or like a standardized way of doing tricks, not so much rules, but like you can you can go outside of those and then do something like that. And it's all it's basic. It's all just about like just being confident in yourself that like yeah, what I'm doing is really cool. I'm gonna do it. Like if somebody's like, oh no, you're not allowed to do that. You know, eh. I'm gonna do it in such a way that it convinces you otherwise. I mean, that's a really good example of it. Nice. Levy, interesting. Oh yeah. The old hook back. That was really sick. Anyway, don't see people doing that very often, that kind of stuff. Not anymore anyway. If I'm thinking of anybody that used to do that a lot, it'd be Julian Barr, or like Fade Hurricane. Oh my God! Oh mate, right in the pocket. Potted it. Marino's a sneaky one. Like, I don't know, like he's just, oh he's just mega good, isn't he? He's got, he's super tech and really stylish as well. And I think like, Mesmer's actually really stacked for like a small team. You may get like, when it was first announced, I think people are looking towards like Don Bellino, Levy as like younger, probably more like momentum behind them at that time. And maybe slightly 
under like valuing Mark, not undervaluing him, but like maybe just not giving him as much attention as you would the rest of the skates in there. But he's mega, he's so good. Love his skating. Something really refined about his skating as well. <laughs> that hat. Oh, mate, Danning. Danning's underrated. Mega good. I wonder if they'll make a Mesmer hat with all those like shiny bits. Dennis, mate. This is a classic uh, New York spot, isn't it? He's got such good landings. Like, really, really solid landings. Nice. Don't know, you get the wall right. I mean, uh, like, rolling down, isn't it? Oh, this is really good. Zest to the fish. Ooh, cow out as well. But you know, mate, different level. Oh, <laughs> dangerous. I was in a car that got hit by a bus once. That was pretty scary. <laughs> How on earth did Dom jump that high then? Oh, look at that. Wind in the mullet. Lovely. I thought he was going to wall ride up it. Boof! Boof! Right in the Niagara Falls! <laughs> Boof! Right in the coast of Del Souls! Oh my goodness. Yes, gets the drop in on the ledge as well. Mate, Shrop. Silk the Shrocker. Oh, nice. Matt, he always looks like he's come straight from a hard day's work. He's a grafter. He looks like a grafter. <laughs> Wasn't expecting that. Nice little pop. Amber. Oi, mate. Eesh. Boosted that. That was fast. Nice. Dennis, the half court, the half court shot. I've actually done this once in my lunch break. That sounds like a massive brag, but we always used to play basketball on the lunch break because it was caught right next to where, where we were working. We just go in like drenched, <laughs> drenched in sweat. Like everyone's just like, you guys are scumbags. But we didn't care. Got a lovely pop to him, Dennis. Yes, man. Oh my God, that was lovely as well. Lovely little pop on that. Good pop. That's like a brutal ledge to be doing that on. It's like the side of a biscuit. <laughs> oh my God. Oh, whoa. That's that line that person was talking about before. That is so good. That little touch, it's like, how much Bellino has taken on, like, newer kind of, like, styles of skating and just completely, like, risen to the top of them? Like, that's how good he is. He's, like, seeing what's going on in the landscape. Oh, that's interesting. I'm, I'm going to have a slice of that. And then, like, very quickly become, like, the top person for, like, using those, like, manoeuvres well or, like, in an interesting way and like developing like newer lines, like adding water lines in them. Mate. Little pop heel to the top of it. That's really nice. This, and he just throws out this at the end. Free wall ride five. Mate. Oh, <laughs> that's such a nice touch. Chicken dipper, toe dipper, bin skipper. Nice, a nice way to start a line. Oh. oh, and the hat grab, nice mate, through the hat, hat grab was seamless. 
Oh, mate, just don't know what Reno's going to do. Oh, very smooth. Mate, love it. Uh, lo lovey. <laughs> I love Levy. <laughs> Lovey's getting well into those uh, shoot the duck things. Oh, sick. I felt like this. the tricks like go way beyond just like your, your regulation trick, don't they? Feels like Mesmer is always, well, just I guess, skating in general, but a lot of the tricks in this, like always looking to put like a little bit more into it. Oh my. <laughs> Utterly ridiculous, the risk on that, mate. My hips were crying. Oh, Danny. That's bloody lovely et crew trousers, mate. Not planning on falling over today. So I've got the, uh, the crews on, mate. These are the special ones, so can't be falling. Mate, so, such good fives or fakey freeze. Just good aerial awareness. And Jimmy. Oi. That was like a penalty. Gabriel. Nice air. Matt, he look, looks like a menace, man. Oh, that looks brutal. Trying to grind the top of a picnic bar or a lion bar. Oh, hey, mate. Oh. <laughs> How about you know, get the cab on that? Oh, mate, let's take that post out with you. Goodness. But he was like, it's funny, it's like, his airs have always been like that, haven't they? Like, he's got really good style. You go back in videos and see, like, exactly the same technique. <laughs> Here we go. Obviously, you can't hear what this guy is shouting. We are gingers and we have no soul. There you go, mate. <laughs> yeah, it's good. To, it's good that they've captured a bit of like regular New York life. I like that. They've, they've been doing that fairly well. Like little bits here and there. You get a real sense of a uh, atmosphere and what it's like to be in New York. Hectic. There we go. <laughs> hey, mate. Gabriel's got the style on them. Oof. I really like that actually they're showing like the sessions as well. Like it's like a load of tricks from the same spot basically, which is really cool. Get to see how people skated differently. And then like you capture, again, capturing like a little bit more of like the atmosphere and what it's like to go out and actually skate with them, or skate with a crew of people. Oh my goodness, that was ridiculous. Dang it. And it's just got this really nice like bounce or something. Really? <laughs> Good knees in this, good knee action. A lot of knees on the show. That's what I meant in my uh, poll when I asked about best knees. But everybody kept voting for Tree Tree because I think they meant to start most flexible. But I actually meant like, who's got the best looking knees? <laughs> oh! I didn't talk so that was rowdy. Taylor, pop him. Is he. Oh, what's his name? Oh, his name's Goff something on Instagram. Sorry, I can't remember. But he's sick, he's got a really cool style. Oh mate, whole pole with a mistrial, top mistrial. Oh, don't think I've actually seen that. Can't think of anybody else I've seen do that switch. Oh my goodness, that was good. Let's get back to that. Set that down a little bit.
What is it? Top soul, right side, tap. That's really sick. I love that kind of stuff. Definitely plays into my sensitivities. Hey, this is a good fit from Billy. It's oh. oh. Great, great stance in the air as well. Damn, that was sick. It's good seeing the air. <laughs> hey, Billy loves a curved rail. Like, show him a curve. He's like, I'm doing something on it. Like, that was it. 270 front savannah in there. Are we there yet as well? Curve master. That's so sick. Like, it's funny that like people don't like toe rolls. You know, it's not really their kind of thing. But the amount of stuff that it's now opened up, like. Bellino made a whole line out of that one spot, which, like, if you weren't doing toe rolls before, like, you just wouldn't have gone anywhere near that, well, that line. Oh, mate. I really want that Mesmer hat. Oh, mate. <laughs> That's just my runaway favourite phrase at the moment in this. Oh, mate. Yes, really nice stance. It's cool that like it feels, and I measure I've done this as well, like there's been people who've had their own individual sections and it feels like everybody can hold their own. It doesn't feel like anybody's in the crew like like riding off of other people's coattails. Obviously there's like, there's only two people with the pro skates at the moment and there's people who are gonna be, everybody's gonna have their preferences and probably people more popular obviously been around long for, longer or what have you. But like, it feels like everybody holds their own in this team and like what you're seeing sorry we're there with like seeing the collective like really like celebrating everybody's tricks and stuff like that it's really good it plays into this like feeling that billy was talking about in his interview with will seen it like mesmer feels like a team and i've said this before i said this like like right at the beginning when they came out it's like this cohesion between them all they feel like more than just like a brand and more than just like a collection of really good skaters who have like maybe quite similar dress aesthetic or maybe similar likes although that's not true for everybody in the brand uh it feels yeah it feels way more than that it feels actually like they could just be a genuine like gang of mates like if you never knew that they like a lot of them like live in different places all around the world and stuff like that you could safely assume that they were like a crew a crew of buddies and then just started we were like, oh yeah, like we're all together anyway. Well, let's let's turn this into a brand. That's what it feels like. And I really like love that vibe. Oof, mate. That scooter kid was in there, wasn't he? Devin the scooter kid. Oh my goodness. Hey mate. Marino's a sly one, like, with the tech. Nice, mate. Simple tricks done well with style. Gold. Getting up there is pretty ridiculous. Oh! The cab out as well. Beauty. Tip top. Bellino. Bellino sometimes charges at thing and I, I feel like there's fear in his eyes. He's like, I don't know what's going to happen here. Oh! Jimmy. Yes, come on, Jimmy. Come on, Jimmy. Oh, mate, that is really big. That kind of looks like the wood that might just bust through as well. <laughs> Everybody's buzzing. There you go, man. Mesmer, NYC, volume one. Brilliant. I come away from that video I feel like proper buzzing for skating. Like not just like it's present and what's happening right now, but also for the future. Like Mesma definitely like leave me wanting to see more. And it's also this this whole com camaraderie thing in the video that is relatable. So not only is there like amazing tricks in there that like some of them I can't relate to because I can't do them, but I do enjoy seeing them. 
there's a massive relatable aspect of it where like you know, you're out with your mates you're just having a good time like you're seeing things around the city which like if you're not a skater and you don't go to these odd places to try and find like ledges or rails and stuff you don't always get a glimpse of maybe like if you live in the city long enough you get a piece of it but if like a lot of those boys there like they're just there on the tour for that minute you do you just get to see like a whole different world I'm really glad that they captured that. That just adds to the whole atmosphere and momentum and like feeling of like excitement with the videos. Like starts with like fast paces with little clips. You're like, oh, it's gonna be rowdy. Like really looking forward to it. Music carries it through really well. Like I said the tricks, the session, like whole session approach where like you get to see a few people on the same spot. Again, capturing the like the reality of what a session might be like, which is sometimes which is obviously lost if it's just like there's a banging clip like here there's a banging clip from the other side of America and like sometimes you don't even get to see the reactions or interactions between people and like the public and what's going on in the background as well and this all makes it feel a lot more real and more, more like exciting more motivating to like you know go out loud with your mates and just have a good time Billy talks about it in the, um, the Will Seen podcast as well about how that like valuing the time together and like doing those other things like even almost like more so than the actual skating that's what he loves more like the friendships the camaraderie the places it's taken them to those like experiences together what i'm saying is you can almost use rollerblading as an excuse to just get together and do these things with your mates it's like an extra motivation to do something but then also you can get really good at skating and do sick stuff like this and then combine that all together for this like amazing product Mesmer have made a really solid impact. They've got such clear direction with their marketing. They really like encapsulate and capture that feeling of like a crew, like a crew of bandits like going around tearing up towns around them. It's like the Wild West with them. Like, <laughs> Mesmer are far and ahead like the best at creating that feeling of like it being more than just a brand. It being like actually people that you know, a, a proper team of cohesion like I was talking about before. It feels authentic and that's a massive thing to me. That's a massive like, I guess it's part of like the, one of the core aspects of roller base, you know, it was like, it was counterculture. It was like young kids just getting out there and like not pretending to be anything else but they're like, but, them, but themselves, like their angsty selves, like going out and causing a bit of trouble. And I feel like, again, I keep saying this, but Mexima captures that so well. We're in an age that rewards like novelty or following an algorithm, not being authentic. You've got to do things in a certain way, present things like like this or like that, and that's how you get like the views and stuff like that. You get like like I was saying about the novelty, the shock factor, and things like that. And lots of people play into that because they're rewarded for it. Like Mesmer is that like seems like the polar opposite. They are it's real, it's authentic, and I love that they're they're not trying to be anything but themselves and it's working. 99% of the reaction to this has been really, really positive, which is cool to see, but you know, like always, there's always somebody who's like, chirps in with something like unconstructive. It's good to talk. Back in the day, NYC would have shat on most of these guys with all the slop style. Rough to watch besides a few of them. Hang about, like, Billy is like an iconic NYC skater, like, the word gets thrown around too much, but like, he's legendary, like a legendary New York City skater. I don't, it doesn't like, it doesn't seem like the kind of person who would let slop get through the, uh, get through the filter. So that's a bit of an odd one, but also slop, do you mean like sloppy style? Because actually, I think a lot of Mesmer's skating is refined and that's what's great about it. Like they have all this like pace and energy and it feels rowdy. But then the result is still like actually clean. It's like, it's hard to fault any of those tricks. And like, they're still getting their, they're getting their style in there. They're getting their personality in there. But it's not, it's not at the, at the sacrifice of the quality of the tricks. I actually think the quality of the tricks are re really, really good. Nice one, Mesmer, man. Absolutely brilliant edit. Really exciting. Can't wait to see more. And that was probably the, uh, best team editor of the year. Massive thank you to my Patreons, your name's up at the screen. If you want to see more reaction videos like this, I've got loads of exclusive ones from my Patreons, join from like as little as three quid a month. 
here's another couple of videos you can watch in the meantime. See you again soon. Spotty dog.